Commuters at Craigieburn Station in Melbourne's north are used to their trains running late or not arriving at all. It causes me to arrive late to university. Um, I miss about 30 or 20 minutes of my class and uh, also the same with my work. The university student says she hates having to explain why her train's been late. It, it's kind of unfair for me. It makes me feel nervous and upset to know that I have to go and talk to my manager again. I have to go and talk to my tutor again. Craigieburn is Melbourne's most unreliable train line. Here, 12% of services are either late or cancelled. There are others too. More than 10% of trains on the Pakenham and Werribee lines are delayed or don't arrive when they're supposed to. I have observed that from the past few days, maybe uh, trains have become late around 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's, it's wasting time and the money as well. The train just after my train it says do not board. In contrast, services along the Sandringham and Glen Waverley lines are the best performing, with less than 4% of trains running behind schedule. Here on the Packham line, commuters say their travel times can badly blow out because of late or cancelled trains, making their commutes to work, home or study much more stressful. Public transport expert Graham Curry says older models are part of the problem in Craigieburn. Some of these trains are 30 to 40 years old and are known to have uh, other issues. But there are issues that are beyond the control of train operators such as trespassing on lines, ill passengers. Uh, all lines get this, and sometimes the longer lines get them more. The state's transport department also blames those factors, but says it's working to keep services on time. Whatever the reasons, delays and cancellations will continue to be a part of Parwana's commute to work and uni. Ahmed Yusuf, ABC News, Melbourne.